in the zipper pouch kit, you get a square of Dyneema fabric, nine inches of zipper, a zipper pull, zipper handle, and two ribbons. To get started, separate your two zipper halves, and then turn your fabric so that it's right side up. And your zipper right side down and then your zipper towards the middle of the bag the edge on the edge of the fabric I'm biasing my needle to the left lining up this edge and stitching it all the way down Fold the zipper so that now it's right side up. Center the needle and then with this edge as a guide, half inch seam allowance going down the length of it. That's one side done. Rotate your fabric, don't flip it. Do the same thing on the other side. Right side of the zipper down, zipper teeth towards the center of the bag. Line up edge to edge and stitch across, passing the needle to the left. Fold the zipper underneath, center the needle, and then again, this edge for reference, half inch seam allowance, down the length. Next step is to join the zipper together. You want to make sure that this edge and that edge come across at a straight line. Take your zipper pull and hold your breath and hope you get lucky. Here, you can see they're not quite lined up. That edge is higher than that edge. So I gotta undo and try again. There's no real silver bullet of doing this. It's just a, one of those practice makes perfect. And even then, you gotta try again sometimes. There we go. That looks pretty good. That edge and that edge 
come across a more or less a straight line. Fold the bag inside out. And we're gonna stitch along these edges to close off the bag. There's a guide mark here. You wanna fold the bag on those guide marks. Flatten it out. Get your ribbon, fold it in half, and then stick the ribbon into the bag here, folded side first, and let it stick into the bag about one inch past this edge, give or take, and centering it on the zipper as best as you can. And clip that in place and then sew down the edge here. I use the edge of my presser foot against the edge of the fabric as a guide. And I do go reverse across the zipper and then back across again to give it extra strength. And then trim off the excess zipper and ribbon. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Ribbon, fold in half, stick it into the bag, extending about an inch beyond the edge of the fabric, and centered on the zipper. Using the edge of the presser foot along the edge of the fabric as a guide. And here you want to make sure the zipper is tightly pinched together, not overlapping. Now you can undo the zipper, turn it right side out, and work these corners out. You can use a skinny object to press the corners out further. Don't use a sharp object. My loop turner for splicing has a nice rounded edge there. It works nicely for reaching in there and poking out the corners. Last step is to install the zipper handle. Taking the cord and going through the lower opening 
on the zipper. Coming back through the upper hole. And then passing the handle through the cord. And then tighten it down. And there's your complete water resistant, waterproof, except for the stitching. And the zipper is only water resistant. There's your complete zipper pouch Dyneema first aid kit bag.